Hello Scorpio and uh, Happy New Year. Okay, this is a take two because I did your video and I was sure I uploaded it. And since I have an old computer, I can't keep all of the videos. So I have to delete them as soon as they're uploaded. And so I deleted your video and I just noticed that it wasn't with the bunch of the 11 others. So here it is, take two with all my love and light and sorry for the little delay there. Okay, so I meditated on your energy, Scorpio. And what Spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. Now, I don't remember the old reading because... I don't remember the readings after I've done them. All right. <laughs> so here is the Ten of Pentacles. So we're talking about your empire, your family, your career, your life that you have built until now that will pursue itself, all of that. After that, I have the Knight of Pentacles. Now, after the Ten is... Uh, the ace that comes, you know, we bring something to a certain point and then up oh, there's something new that makes it evolve and continue on and continue on. So that what that would be what the Knight of Pentacle would want to bring forward the following of that. Okay, I've reached until now. What next? But with the what next, here I have the devil. So it's almost like when it comes to what is more than this, I've reached this point, you know, like my career is that, family, been there, done that, or I don't know in any case, but wherever you are in life, it's, it's almost like figuring the next step how to make that Knight of Pentacle move or where to move is going to be that kind of questioning in January for you. Under our Ten of Pentacle, I have the Six of Wands. This is acknowledgement. I don't have to prove anything anymore. I have established myself. Temperance under that. I am now ready for something that would be more, but I don't know what it is. Under our Knight of Pentacle, which would be bringing this Ten of Pentacle forward, um, for some of you, it's also the Ten of Pentacle can be family karma, okay? And that now you are kind of ready to release it also, okay? Under our Knight of Pentacle, I have the Nine of Swords and the Four of Cups. So this is all the questioning. Where is that guy going? What is in his seed? How can I make my Ten of Pentacles grow to the next cycle? It worries me. It brings me anxiety. And there's a part of me that can't even imagine it because I can only rely on what I've been there, done that, what I've experienced emotionally until now. But here with temperance, that tells me that you are ready to lift your head and grab another cup. Grab a cup that would make you feel even more fulfilled emotionally. Um, but how? Under that, I have the Ten of Wands. You are at the end of a cycle. You are ready to drop um, old way of doing things or whatever the ones are willpower so they can be actions things we've accomplished you know like if you're writing a book this is when you drop it at the editor you know it's who it's done and so you can start a new passion a new fire at this point you don't even see anymore where you're going and that's the thing um, that's that phrase that keeps coming back what next under our devil here when you try to look in front of you 
all you see is seven of cups. So you see that guy, he has a cloud in front of him. So of course, that doesn't mean you don't have any dreams. So you have dreams, but at the same time, you have fears and you have, you know, of you know, past wounds that can come up and possibilities. So this is kind of losing you into the possibilities. And here with the hangman, with the ten of cups, so here you see you have ten of wands, ten of pentacles, ten of cups. Emotionally, you are ready to grab that cup. You've reached your ten. You're ready to grab that cup. You're ready to do things differently. And your empire, your world, needs to grow. Hangman. They're hanging everything there with this guy until you see where you're limiting yourself, where maybe you're accepting status quo, where you're accepting, well, it's not great, but, I mean, the bills are paid and it's comfortable. So, anything like that you know or accepting your fears oh i can't do that others yes but not me under that i have the empress now she is creation inspiration and in all of that so uh it's to rise to her once you rise to the empress Yes, abundance, unconditional love, but inspiration also, because you see she's got that crown of the 12 stars, all the zodiac on her head. And she's always, like, she's represented pregnant, kind of. So she's always gestating, creating, um, taking something from above and giving it a shape. So what is going to be that shape? If you connect into your empress, it's going to be clear where your soul wants to go next. But if you are in the fog of everything you have to carry, your responsibilities, um, that, you know, maybe there isn't anything for you out there that would make you more happy. And it brings you anxiety to kind of uh, even imagine uh, moving forward into the unknown. This is all of his domain. So now, at uh, bottom of the deck, I do have the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands, it's that attitude of, I've, I've went through a lot. Now I'm keeping myself safe, um, worried, you know, kind of. He's not looking forward to what life can send him, you know. He's kind of looking at things like, ooh. You know, what next? So I'm on my guard. I'm on my guard into what the universe can bring me. I am not, ah, what is the universe can bring me today? What will be my next chapter? It will be, oh, what could be my next chapter? I can't imagine it being better than this. And I know something's got to give because we've been stagnating for a while. Let's clarify this for you. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit. Help me clarify this reading. For Scorpios. For the month of January 2021. Okay, show me that Ten of Pentacles. Show me that Ten of Pentacles for Scorpios. Spirit. Ooh. Okay. So the one that flipped around is the Five of Pentacles. Mm. Knight of Wands. Okay. And here I have the Five of Swords. So... It's kind of that it, it, it break gas, break gas uh, feeling here. So in that Ten of Pentacles, um, there's some Five of Pentacles in it. So when it comes to your empire, you build it with a lot of sacrifice, with a lot of 
putting yourself aside and for the sake of others um, maybe it was um, it was a lot of struggle for some of you a lot of you know being left out in the cold here and here with the knight of wands this is like I I I gotta get out of here I gotta do something about it there's that willpower in the here and now that of of uh, acting upon this situation my empire right now has too much lack and I feel lack acting upon it but here we since we have the five of swords here um, you could have the counter argument in your mind also letting you think that uh, well maybe no not for me so that push to do something and at the same time almost convincing yourself to stay there you see back forward back forward let's look at that knight of uh, pentacle and the knight of pentacle is already slow because he is the knight of matter uh, and you know the world three-dimensional world of matter is dense and slow it's not like the mind or emotions or passion and willpower so it's easy to stop the guy show me the knight of pentacle for scorpios ah okay so we are ready see they're showing us our seven of uh, cups again so but here the world and the eight of cups and that's good this is because you're finishing you're gonna be able to move to the new cycle of Pentacles because you're gonna finish this cycle of limiting yourself um, from new experiences from a higher level of emotional vibration that you can experience in this life the eight of cups that's the decision the guy takes I've, I've lived these eight cups here in the night that means inside of me I'm making the decision that yes I know there's more out there here you're not seeing it and that's why you've got anxiety but in order to finish that cycle you have to take that inner decision to go for that cup even if you don't know what it could be without being hold back by the chains of the projection of your pains or your limited um, beliefs or what you can allow into your life do you see what i mean okay let's look at the devil ah here we have our six of wands seven of wands so the devil and the seven of wands is fight or flight here I'm on the defensive again but in, in instead of being here I have nothing to prove I'm leaving that thing behind I know who I am I'm acknowledging myself and so on therefore the world outside is mirroring exactly that it is oh my god I've got to uh, protect myself I've got to defend myself the world can attack me can bring things down these are all my fears that I project and that's how I'm limiting myself limiting myself from the new experiences it's very hard for the universe to send you a new experience when you're in that state here and in that state when you're done to actually drop all of that to receive a beautiful ace of wands there we it's ready to give it you know it's ready to drop this we don't even see where we're going anymore all right let's look at here your empire we have the six of wands again and temperance so six of wands spirit that there's there's an understanding you you have that understanding of what your past cycle was all about and when I say past cycle, it can be the last 20 years, like it could be the last two years. It all depends of where we are. Yeah, 
judgment and the lovers. Two major arcanas here. So that judgment of yes, you know, I, I don't have to maintain this or whatever. I can, I understand the past lesson and now I am ready for more. I am making a judgment and making a decision. So there's that knowledge that came to you, maybe in December, maybe in the beginning of January, of that, yes, I'm ready for a new challenge. And, and that could bring more into my life. Let's look at temperance. I see you're ready now because temperance is very much uh, divine timing. Divine timing is when we are ready emotionally here. That's why he's mixing cups. We are ready to put our foot in the water to test. We see the bigger picture. We understand he has the sun sign in his forehead. So imagine a third eye like that. Um, and that's why it's a healing at the same time. I understand everything. I see the parts of me that are afraid, that project these things, but I'm making the decision to go for more. And as I say that, the Ace of Cup is here. This is what you are ready to take now. Whether it is in career, love, or just life itself. Okay? I'm going to put the Ace of Cup here. Now let's look at your this Four of Cups and um, Nine of Swords. We know that this is finished. As you are going to go and take that quest and make those first steps here with the Knight of uh, the Knight of Pentacle, you are actually going to drop this. Therefore, reversing it because you're going to finish that cycle. Let's look at that with the world there. Yeah, nine of wands are nine of wands because this is the attitude of, oh, what am I going to do? This is all that I've lived and I can't even see that the universe wants to give me more. This is Seven of Sword, how you disempowered yourself. Disempowering ourselves with swords, with words, with the little voices we have inside. And here, since you had judgment, you see those people rising from the coffins that were in the bottom of the sea? That's where your little voices came. All the parts of your soul that took hard events in your life, wounds, traumas, um, you know, things like that, and took them in and shoved themselves into your subconscious so you, continue, you can continue living, you know? And so that doesn't mean they're quiet down there. They make the little voices that say, no, you can't. There's nothing more for you. And how would you do it? Can you really do it? Do you have what it takes? That's the Seven of Swords. The thief in the night. Taking your willpower away. Taking your convictions away. And that's what would have made, was making you wary, scared of what life could bring you. So here, Ten of Wands, you're dropping this. Oh, you're dropping it. Tower uh, with the Queen of Sword. That is a complete change of perspective. And, it, and perspective is crucial. Because that is what defines our choices. How we see what is in front of me. If what is in front of me is dangerous, is all sorts of possibilities for me to be hurt and fail, and that when I dream, I, you know, I will deconstruct it in my mind, telling myself that not for me, you know, because that's my reality. Then, of course... That's just the frame in which I'm going to make my decisions. Changing one's perspective through an enlightenment like this, like the tower, and this, the deconstruction 
of the little frame I made of myself and I'm opening up. Oh my God. Yes, I can do all sorts of things. My perception of reality is completely different. Yes, maybe I can have another hit on my head, but so what? I've survived the others. I'm willing to take the risk. Like this guy. He is not restraining himself in case he falls off his horse. He just goes for it. Like the king of wands also. But the king of wands will be a bit uh, more paused. <laughs> this guy is, uh, let's go. Okay, now let's look at under the devil. And so, yeah, putting yourself on the defensive. Instead of proactive, I am on the defensive, protecting. Here, let's look at the hangman. What did the hangman want you to understand? So, of course, the hangman can turn at any moment. As soon as we look at things from a completely different angle, like this, looking at it like I'm afraid of what is in front of me, or sometimes uh, when it switches, you become experienced. And you have the, the experience back up to confront anything, like an old sailor. So you can be afraid of the sea because anything can happen on the sea. Or you can say, yeah, I trust my boat. I'll know I manage it. I know how to ride the waves. Bring it on. That's the two sides of it. So how to look at it from a different angle, maybe with more faith. in you and there you go king of sword three of wands so from looking in front you don't have a lot of characters that are actually looking away you know in the into the future here this one doesn't see anything and this one actually can see the rising he can see the boats coming in with his with his uh you know what the the universe wants to give him uh that's what they want you to look at from a completely different angle. And the King of Sword, by changing your, percept uh, your perception away from all of your baggage and your limited view, you know, limited frame. I'm looking at the world from this. Here, this is owning it, changing the perception and making my decision accordingly. It opens up. A complete new arising for you. And here is the Empress. So this month, you're going to see what is next. What? Eight of Pentacles. What is next that you are going to be able to invest in. And King of Pentacles, make fruitful. So our Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, King and Eight, you see? It is something that's going to be inspired by your feminine. And that is very important. The feminine is the one connected with your soul, with the divine. And your masculine is the one that actually goes and does it out there. Here, king of pentacle. And here, knowing exactly what you will want to invest yourself in. So, there you go, Scorpio. I'm going to call this what's next or preparing your future i remember it was something like that also um okay so on this i'm gonna send you all my love and light sorry again for the delay it happened but maybe this is what you needed to hear uh, thank you for watching sharing subscribing and all of that helping the channel grow if you want a private reading, there's an email below. You can write to me and I'll give you the information to how to book a reading with me. Um, thank you for the ones of you that gave donations. Of course, new moon, full moon. I do a little ceremony to give you back. And on that, have an amazing new year coming all filled with inspiration, love, and light. See you next month. Bye-bye.